We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. François Rancy, who is Director of the Radio Communication Bureau for ITU. Mr. Rancy, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. This year's event's theme is Embracing Change in a Digital World. Where do you see the biggest opportunities and challenges in that change for industry and for societies in general? As you know, societies are more and more dependent on uh, uh, digital uh, technologies. Uh, what we see is that uh, everybody needs to be connected now if uh, the societal change are going to provide maximum efficiency. And one of the challenges uh, this is meeting is that uh, mobile communications are likely to be the main way of providing broadband access in, in many countries. And therefore, uh, this means that there, there is an increasing pressure on spectrum. How can we balance the spectrum needs of government, commercial services and individuals worldwide fairly and sustainably? As you know, um, there are many other services than the mobile service. Uh, currently, you have things like television broadcasting, like satellite communications, like radio relays to provide infrastructure for mobile services, for example, uh, military applications, meteorology, science services, radio astronomy. So uh, all, all these services uh, require access to spectrum. And the challenge is actually to give to each of them the spectrum that they require. This, of course, meaning uh, a lot of sharing, uh, as far as it is practicable, needs, needs to be implemented. Uh, fortunately, uh, technological evolution uh, plays not only for mobile, but for others as well. Uh, this is what allows to make changes by taking advantage of more efficient technologies. One example being uh, the uh, evolution of digital, of uh, analog broadcasting to digital, uh, where you can actually provide more uh, programs of, of televisions in less spectrum. This is the way uh, this, this challenge can be faced. Of course, it requires some timelines to ensure that the transition to new technologies takes place uh, in, in, uh, so, so that um, the actors in the field uh, can, can survive, you cannot impose changes like that, it takes time. You attend a, a number of events on an annual basis, I know. What, uh, in your opinion, is the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Well, the, the great value is that uh, all the decision makers in uh, the field of telecommunications and ICTs uh, are present here and therefore you can exchange with uh, other people who are facing the same difficulties as you are or others who have found the solutions. And have you got a message for participants here at ITU Telecom World? I would say yes, watch and listen. Uh, I think everybody has to offer something in this place. Mr. Rossi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.